is Abby, and in this video I'm going to be talking about training your rabbit. The things you will need will be an enthusiastic rabbit. It doesn't matter how old your rabbit is, as long as they're somewhat enthusiastic and food motivated, that helps a lot. You need treats. You need treats that you can give quite a bit of, so you don't want to feed treats like this. Something like pellets, where when they do something right, you can just give them one pellet at a time, or a veggie that they really like that you can give them a bite of, or tiny pieces of carrot would be a better treat rather than fruit or something like that. Hey, hey, hey. You need a non-distracting area. I sectioned off the x pin like this for this video, and something like this can be really helpful just to keep your bunny more focused. If you have more than one rabbit, you also may need to separate them so then they don't get in the way of each other. And it's also helpful if you're the only person training them and nobody else is kind of interrupting. Optional is items for training. Things like a clicker for clicker training, agility jumps, tunnels, hoops, boxes. In this video, I'm mainly focusing on teaching things like agility and tricks and not litter training or stuff like that. Though I do have a video about litter training your rabbit that I will link at the end of this video if you wanna go watch it. So now there really is like no sure way to get your rabbit to come when called. That's just something that happens kind of over time and it's never 100%. <laughs> now the easiest trick I think to teach a pet is circle. Now Storm can do it with just a flick of a finger because I've done it many, many times and he thinks he, he can just circle and get a treat whenever he wants. Like everything with teaching a rabbit, it's just repetition. So when you first start, you want, you want a treat and you just want to slowly lead them around in a circle and then if you're clicker training, you can click and give a treat. Now I couldn't find my clicker. I used a clicker for a while and then I just kind of stopped. Clicker training is basically associating a click with when your rabbit does something right. If you don't have a clicker, you can just use like a ballpoint pen and click it. So circle can slowly become going like this and then going like this faster and then slowly just moving your hand like halfway around and seeing if they will continue going around and eventually moving your hand so quick that you can just start moving your hand like this and eventually just going like this will show your rabbit what to do. Now this is obviously Storm's best trick. He'll do it over and over again. He'll spin around as many times as I want him to spin around. He doesn't spin around the other way though. At least I don't think he does. See, he's, he's just not used to spinning to the right. Now there are other tricks you can teach your rabbit. I haven't taught Storm that much. But you can do little things like rabbits can walk on their hind legs, which is kind of funny looking. You can even teach them to weave around your legs. I was trying to do this with Storm for a while, but it's quite hard. Come here, bud. A very, very helpful thing to do is make what I call, or I think people call it, a pointer stick. Get a stick or a dowel and then tape or glue a cat toy on it and teach your rabbit to follow the point. It helps the clicker train with this so then your rabbit knows what they're doing right, but if they follow it, then you can give them a treat and then you can go over here and give them a treat. This really, really helps with agility training when you want them to go through like a course or say around your legs or anything like that so they know where to go. Now when it comes to jumps, rabbits like to knock them down like that. Come in, jump. There you go, jump back. Yeah, good boy. Now you don't need jumps to teach your rabbit to jump. You can just use some books and some sticks or whatever you have. Just slowly build up from the ground and you can slowly add things and work on it. So if I send them around this way and go around again, come back. So going over just a few tips. Number one would be start simple. Say if you wanna teach jumping, which I'm no expert on this, but I'd say even start with just the stick on the ground and having the rabbit jump over the stick. Then you'd build up about like an inch and a half or so, or two inches every time, and just slowly build up. The highest I got Storm to jump ever was about 16 inches. That's when I was really doing this like every day. And remember not to do too much in a day. Your rabbit will 
will eventually get kind of... Every rabbit is different, but some will eventually just kind of ignore you, either once they've had too much food or they just get kind of bored. As for how much you want to do in a day is really up to you and how your rabbit is acting to it. When you first start, you really want to just do little bits at a time to get them used to it, unless they really, really like it, and then just keep working up from there. So that's pretty much it for this video. Remember, there are so many things you can teach your pet. Go look up some more YouTube videos on different types of agility and different tricks you can teach your rabbit. So anyway, I hope this video has helped or you've just enjoyed watching Storm do some tricks. If you have any tips or notes or anything for anybody else, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear what kind of tricks you have taught your rabbit. And anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!